We're in Eureka, California. It's October 19th, 2008, and the Department of Fish and Game wants to eradicate the pike minnow population in here because they kill the rest of the fish population. And so we're gonna close off the work area on both ends down near that bridge where they're putting up that little fish net down there. And then to our right, if I pan to right, up on the upper end, we're gonna close that off and then dewater this work area so they can get rid of these pike minnow. Setting up the trap down there, I guess, to keep the, them from being able to get downstream at all. Here's a little closer view of the pond where they think the majority of the population is. Okay, we've got the lower and the upper, upper dam, aqua dam staged and the pumps are all ready to go and uh, down there as you can see we've got them staged and ready to go as well and we're just waiting for fish and game to finish um, doing a little bit of fish sampling here before we get started. Okay, here's the lower end of our canals uh, aqua dam staged and ready to be pushed into the water and filled once we get the okay from fish and game. They're just doing some fish sampling right now to make sure everything's right, I guess, so we can get going. Here you can see some of the local wildlife going after probably some of the same fish that we're trying to go after as well. Okay, here's our work area. The upper end and then you can see way down there, the lower end, or not way down, about 300 feet down, and to the right down towards the end is the pond where they think most of the pike men are living and uh, we're trying to get rid of them. Okay, they first just put the first aqua dam in the water here and we'll start pumping here momentarily. Right now what they're doing is just making sure that they get the fill of tubes uh, set up correctly. Okay, we're about five minutes into pumping here and they're just feeding it across the hole and back giving it a little bit of head pressure so that they can get this thing to go all the way across, which it's probably eight of the way across right now, and then it'll have to fully inflate. Okay, we're about seven or eight minutes into it. Still pretty soft, but it's getting across there. Okay, we're about probably 12 to 15 minutes in now, and um, this eight footer probably another five, 10 minutes away from probably being done, I guess. Nah, probably 10 minutes. But uh, we're about ready to start pumping the four footer for backup just as a safety precaution uh, on the upstream side, which is this end. Okay, for this four foot backup, they're just gonna put it so that it goes nearly to the edge over to this bank here, but not all the way, so that water doesn't get trapped between the, the main bag, which is the eight footer, and this four foot backup bag. Because if the water gets trapped between them, it's just gonna that water is gonna push these two bags apart and blow out this four footer. So they leave it so that it only goes just about a foot or two away from the bank here, and that way the water can be released there around the edge and get around it if it starts to seep underneath. But at the same time, this four footer is sitting here helping back up this eight footer because we just don't know how much water is gonna flow down this channel throughout the day as we're holding this out and make and we don't know that we have enough bypass pumps to make it happen. So we. Won't we don't know, you know, we could end up putting the canal up towards the capacity of our eight foot aqua dam here. And so this four footer is just a little bit of internal falsity to make it so that maybe we have a little protection beyond our 25% of freeboard that we need. If we have to go um, get close to that, we're not going to blow out here. Okay, now we're about three or four minutes in and uh, slowly easing it across the little channel here. Probably another 15, 20 minutes, this will be done. Seth just prepping the bank on the other side a little bit, make sure there's a little shovel hoe uh, that reached in there and made a little hole in the bank there, so we don't make sure it has a decent area to contact. looking upstream and then over here to the left is the pond that we're going to dewater. 
Okay, it probably took us 15 to 20 minutes to fill this lower eight footer, and so it's done. And uh, now we just switch the pumps over um, to start help dewater the work area. Here we have Fish and Wildlife and uh, Department of Fish and Game working to uh, net these fish. Here's our work area that's about probably 50% dewatered. The, the canal is almost dewatered, but the pond to the right down there is, still has quite a bit of water to get out of it. And then if we slowly turn around over here, there's the upstream version, and that's those little boxes there are where they're keeping the live fish that they're catching and want to save and not kill. Here's the famed pike minnow that's uh, going to be eradicated here, hopefully. Sacramento pike minnow. Sacramento pike minnow. Hi, I'm Doug Kelly with Humble Fish Action Council, and we're here on Martin Slough at the Eureka Golf Course today. Um, we've got some dams that we've put in the channel so that the Department of Fish and Game can come in and uh, clean out fish in the 17th hole pond. They uh, have found uh, Sacramento pike minnows, which are a fish that eat uh, juvenile salmonids, and a salmonid can be either a coho or a cutthroat. So we're in here, we've got uh, dams placed to uh, walk everything off and we're pumping things down. trying to drag the suction hose out for the six inch pump to get it out farther out into the water because we can't get the rest of this pond drain. Moving in the mud's not very easy. Okay, we're going to take out the four foot backup dam that we put in here um, as it's really not getting pushed again by the eight footer. We're getting close enough to the end of the day where we don't think we're going to need a backup anymore so we're going to get a little, little ahead of the game here because they probably got another hour of shock and fish and we'll, we're going to pump as much water of this as we can out and then we'll uh, go grab the backhoe and tie a rope to the end of it to the other end and try and uh, pull the water out or pull the other end out and slowly feed the water out as we go. Okay, we removed the four foot back up, as you can see here, which is laying right there, with that backhoe over there. And so they're still over there, zapping some fish, I think. But we're getting close to being able to pull out this upper dam first, and then we'll get the lower one taken.
Okay, here's our basically dewatered work area. There is still a little bit of water, but it got all the fish out of the weeds so that they could do what they need to do, which was either shock them or net them out and concentrate the fish into the one pool there without them being able to get away and hide in the weeds. And so we're probably about a half hour away from drawing that dam out of there. And then we'll release that one. Okay, here we are at the end of the day. And uh, the eight footer is being, the water's being taken out of the eight footer. So it's just gonna slide basically. And uh, the water's gonna hopefully push it out and the rest of the water will wash out because it's an open ended bag at that end. So that water will just, that open end will end up hopefully down in here in this channel and just let all that water out. And then we'll pull it out of there with this backhoe and uh, roll it up, take it home, recondition it, and hopefully use it another day. Water. <laughs>